Donald Trump left us the worst unemployment since the Great Depression. Donald Trump left us the worst public health epidemic in a century. Donald Trump left us the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. And what we have done is clean up Donald Trump's mess. Matindi ang palitan ng akusasyon sa pagitan ni na Vice President Kamala Harris at Donald Trump sa kanilang unang presidential debate. Sa simula pa lang ng debate, inakusahan na na incumbent Vice President ang dating presidente na nagpahirap umano sa bansa sa pagtatapos ng kanyang termino. Agad naman itong sinangga ni Trump at maring pinabulaanan na hindi na ito nababasa ang Project 2025, isang dokumentong ginawa ng dating Trump administration officials na naglatag ng posibleng gawin na ikalawang termino ng dating Pangulo. I have nothing to do with Project 2025. Uh, that's out there. I haven't read it. I don't want to read it purposely. Vuelta naman ni Trump, bumagsak ang Estados Unidos sa tatlong taong panunungkulan ni President Joe Biden at Harris. Lumala rin naman o ang world security dahil sa mga gera nagsimula sa nakaraang tatlong taon na posibleng pagmulan ng World War III. Para naman kay VP Harris, banta sa demokrasya ng US at buong mundo ang isa pang termino ni Trump. Dapat na rin anyang iwanan ng bansa ang malungkot at magulong nakaraang panunungkulan nito at humarap sa American promise ng maligaya. Naging mainit din ang debate ng talakayin ang nakaraang 2020 eleksyon na ayon sa Democratic candidate ay mahirap para sa kanyang katunggaling tanggapin ang pagkatalo at maging ang mga world leaders sa kanyang kapanahunan ay pinagtatawanan ang former chief executive. I have traveled the world as Vice President of the United States and world leaders are laughing at Donald Trump. I have talked with military leaders, some of whom worked with you, and they say you're a disgrace. And when you then talk in this way in a presidential debate and deny what over and over again are court cases you have lost because you did in fact lose that election, it leads one to believe that perhaps we do not have in the candidate to my right the temperament or the ability to not be confused about fact. That's deeply troubling and the American people deserve better. Victor Orban said it. He said the most respected, most feared person is Donald Trump. We had no problems when Trump was president, but when this weak, pathetic man that you saw at a debate just a few months ago, that if he weren't in that debate, he'd be running instead of her. She got no votes. He got 14 million votes. What you did, you talk about a threat to democracy. He got 14 million votes and they threw him out of office. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. Bukod sa ekonomiya at election fraud, naging mainit din ang debate ng dalawa sa usaping abortion, immigration at security, na ang usaping nanguna sa alalahanin ng mga butante ngayong taon. Klein Singka, UNTV News and Rescue USA. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publikong aming pinahalagahan.